Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela and if you weren't already aware, this is reading off my shelf. This is me wrapping up June and what I read. Um, I think I did okay. I do feel towards the second half of the month I had more of a reading slump and the books that I did read really at least a couple of them were um, ones I was finishing off from the previous month. So let's go through. Um, right, so we didn't finish the um, All the Little Things by Sarah Lawton. Again, as I've mentioned a few times in videos, um, I don't know whether I'm actually going to DNF that one. Um, I started Keeney. I will finish that one. Um, I started it on Friday. As I film this, obviously, it's Sunday. Um, but I, I do want to finish that one, and I am looking forward to it. <laughs> the book that I feel is on my TBR all the time, um, Six of Crows. I think I'm going to have that one, as I say, in the background kind of pick up. Um, so I'll put that to one side. I'm just going through my um, trolley that wasn't on my TBR. That wasn't, I'm sure that wasn't on my TBR. Started the Seven Moons of Ali Almara, I think. That one, I don't know where the cover is. I think it's um, next door. Um, or Ali Amida. Started that one, but for certain reasons that was put to one side we'll pick that up at some point in the future never got to the familiar which was me gavin reed's book club book never got to take my hand started seven days in june that one will get put to one side and hopefully read that might go forward to a year for a year never got to a witch's guide to fake date and a demon and never got to shanghai immortal so before i go on to what i did f read i think going forward i have got a july tbr and i have that video is open if I remember I will link it down below in the description I'm gonna go more towards mood reading for a little while I'm gonna try and take the pressure off myself um, and it is pressure I put on myself I am um, I feel I need to maybe mood read for a wee while um, so I'm probably not gonna pick my prompts or numbers out of the tin um, which determines what books I'm going to do. So am I going to do a TBR video? Possibly not. I I, I don't think so. Um, unless I've got some planned reading. For example, um, there's a book I want to read in August. Um, I know there's some that I want to read in November because of the theme. So I am, I have some, um, a body reads coming up um so, so if i know what i'm going to read i will mention it but i don't know if i'm actually going to do set tbrs i think i'm going to do more mood reading um and see how that goes so yeah i am going to i am reading i'm i have still got my july uh tbr books across there and i am going to try and take part in in Jane Austen July um, and also I don't know whether I'm gonna do because I feel I don't know whether I feel a bit not pressured that's probably not the word but you know when you feel like oh my gosh I've got to I've only got June or to read these books I can't read them at any other time sort of situation and I feel that's probably part of having the if I'm giving myself a TBR I'm thinking I've got to read that in that month so I think I'm gonna just try and relax a little bit more and not necessarily have a set as I say TBR for the month but will kind of 
do a formal wrap up this is what i've read in the last few weeks this is what i'm continuing reading so i'm not sort of setting the monthly if that makes sense hopefully it does um, i'm just basically going to try and take a little bit of pressure my mood's not right at the moment i'm getting myself quite anxious and um stressed about things and oh gosh i'm gonna get upset again <laughs> like i did um move them down there i'm not crying because of the tbr thing i'm just like i say i'm just not in the right head space at the moment <sighs> deep breath come on right come on so yeah i'm just gonna i think i'm in a reading slump and i'm fine i'm fine i hasten to add i am fine this happens um the i always sort of describe it as the building a, a wall and sometimes if the, br the bricks are too there's too many bricks i can't i don't deal with it very well um and yeah so i am just going to take a more relaxed attitude at the moment for a wee while and let my mood catch up with itself and give myself i suppose some self-care um as i've explained in a couple of my weekly vlogs i've had quite a time recently with bad news uh, etc and these things is, um, affect me and you know I've had uh, what was to say changes at work but you know just just life life just sometimes doesn't it um so yes right I'm gonna move on from that right so um a book I finished and I think I was reading it in May and June I'm sure I didn't read it all it, well, I wasn't set to read it all in June um and that was strangers on the train by patricia highsmith um love this copy now of course obviously i've talked about these books as i've finished them in my vlogs this is a this is a story of two guys who are on a train journey um hence the title and they are strangers and one of them suggests that the other one kills his father and that he will kill the guy's wife, ex-wife, or future to be ex-wife, I think. Um, and it's just follows on from there, whether or not they commit the murders um, and the consequences of this train journey and their lives and it looks into, you know, their families um and how maybe taking a different direction how things affect and you know these moments where you just as i say meet somebody um and how it affects your life it is i wouldn't say necessarily it is a mystery because there's no mystery to solve you kept up to date throughout the book of what's happening um and you know who does what and you know what so there's no mystery to solve um it's just how how does it develop and affect these two men's lives and as i say their family um it is shows different personalities um different characteristics and how your character can affect how you do things and how you react to things so it, it, it's a it's a i really enjoyed it i think i give it a four four five possibly a five star um and i i found it easy to read i like the pace i like the characters i was invested in it and i will be keeping that one that will go on my 
shelf I'll keep that one and then those of you who've been here really well know that I don't often keep books I also read which there is a actual vlog coming up of this one um LJ Ross's High Force a DCI Ryan mystery this is as I say to do uh, a DCI Ryan mystery the set in I say that well one is it classed as the northeast I think so because some of it's in Northumberland some of it's closer to home in Newcastle some of it's set in Durham not this particular book but the series I'm just sitting back a little bit because my back's aching um but this one as I say focuses on high force bit of a spoiler from that side of things we don't actually get to high force till near the end of the book but that doesn't spoil it as in it's a good book and I, I read the first one last June I hasten to add I'm hopefully not going to try and read one book a year in a, in June um but I love the character I love Ryan's relationship with his tea his colleagues and his you know his love life and his and the tune fro of the villain who was the hacker was he called the hacker yes um he's a notorious uh, serial killer who has escaped from prison so we find out how he escaped um who assisted him the consequences of that whether the temptation to commit more murders um does it mention i'm trying to have a look and see what it says on the back trying not to give too much a spoiler yes so uh, the hacker escapes prison and kidnaps one of the best detectives um on ryan's team from her own home so we have her sort of family and friends we have um the trying to save her the so we know obviously that this hacker has committed the murders that happen in the book we so again we're not trying to solve the murders we know who's committing the murders we also it's i suppose it's kind of a cat and mouse story it's finding them trying to ryan trying to catch the hacker and it's their relationship and it brings some of the past forward i don't again i'm just having a look and see if it gives you the um any clues to uh the past again as i say i don't want to spoil it well it says murder and mystery are peppered with romance and humor in this fast pay uh pierce crime who who did it set but it's not who did it because we know who did it you find out quite quickly who did it um so and i wouldn't say like i say it's mystery because as i say we know who's done it but really i would recommend it i would recommend this uh, author and the series so yes again that i'm going to keep that one two books never normally keep them so i did read that was probably the only book I read all in June um like I say I read that that's book five um like I say I've read book one I have the other ones in between as well the other one I was continuing or I brought forward or continued from me was The Secret of Haven Point by Lisette Arton um this is a middle grade book it was part of the spoony readathon that emily from novel novels was running um so what i was gonna say that i forgot about that that was a five star for me i, I really really enjoyed it this was i disappointed in it i think i think i gave it probably i can't recall now was it sort of a three and a half i think it was okay i wouldn't reread it um i felt that it was good represent representation of disability um and friendship and i wouldn't say fine 
found family but in the way that you know you sometimes your friends can become your fam family and the people that you trust and I suppose it is to do with trust so with it's set obviously on a lighthouse because we've got a lighthouse there and it's this well it says a charming tale of found families it does say that and mermaids with my favorite kind of hero at the heart that's uh l mcnichol said that um there's sad parts there was sad uh, there was period uh a, a part of it that i did shed tears there is There's a light housekeeper who keeps kittens in his beard. There's, as I say, friendships and mermaids and the relationship between the children and the mermaids. There is a little bit of mystery in there, I think. Just a sprinkling of it. Um, outside does never come here. The magic doesn't let them. Um trying to think what as well so you've got the main protagonist is washed up as a baby and it sort of it sort of focuses on them um yeah it's just how they meet and how they how they survive on well i wasn't say it's an island isn't it on the the wild shores yeah so the um loot passing ships to survive for their supplies and things you don't get strangers coming on the island or the shores it was good it was a, a middle grade it was yeah i was slightly disappointed I, I, yeah apart um i wouldn't continue if it was a series i wouldn't continue with it it was okay and I'm pleased I read it and that, that was the group read for the Spoon Spoon Readathon or um in May which as I say so essentially <laughs> all I read really or finished was three books. I'm pleased enough because as I say I know things that have happened in June and my mood and I've just not wanted to pick books up. Um my mind's being distracted. I've not wanted to, I wasn't say do much, but you know, I wanted to do my cross stitch and just didn't have the energy or the enthusiasm. So I'm pleased. I'm pleased I managed to finish some books. Um, but you know, it's, it's not a bad thing not to read a lot of books and, you know, just to even finish one or it, it's, yeah we're all different and yeah i'm really i'm pleased i read what i read and two of them i'll keep um i have waffled and i feel like i'm going to cough <coughs> so thank you for watching if you have enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you don't already do so and comment down below i know this one here was some people really enjoyed it i think cat from brews and reviews I want to say it was maybe not her cup of tea either, I think. I know Emily loved it. I know uh, Chatty loved it. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a mixed month, was June. So if you have got to the end of the video and you just want to leave me an emoji to say that you've been here, which I really appreciate, um give me a train just a train emoji and that just lets me know that you've been here you've got to the end of the video um just in case you can't think of anything to say because i know what it's like um sometimes you just you've watched the video and you just can't think what to comment i know i do sometimes anyhow i am going to go <laughs> i'll see you very shortly in another video please take care of yourself